What's up, Plebheads? I'm Neo, and I'm joined here tonight once again by my brother, Mr. Fucking YouTube, baby! Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Deluxe edition copy of Doom Eternal in an exclusive steelbook case, custom designed by graphic designer and illustrator Gabs in collaboration with Mondo. Full size wearable Doom Slayer helmet replica. Playable cassette tape plus download codes for lossless digital copies of Mick Gordon's Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal original soundtracks. Doom lore book with custom artwork by id Software. One. The Gift of Argent Power, 11 by 17, lithographed. Oh boy. Now you don't get a ton here, to be honest with you, based upon, you know, when we were just coming off the um, Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition, uh, which we thought was an excellent deal. Actually worth the money, by the way. And actually worth the money. My concern here is you've got five things. Now, again, doesn't necessarily matter how much stuff you get. It matters what you get. So we've got a deluxe edition copy of the game and a steelbook. The deluxe edition is $89.99, just so you know. Okay. But what's in the deluxe edition? That's an extra $30 on top of the base game. And would we value it at $89.99? Let's see. Doom Eternal. Access uh, com includes the Year One Pass. Access to two campaign add-ons to release within first year of Doom Eternal's launch date, featuring new perspectives and new ways to play. These standalone stories explore the cataclysmic events that led to Earth's fall against the demons. Demonic Slayer skin, classic weapon sound pack, throwback sound effects for all your Doom Eternal guns. So at this point, uh, it looks like you have two campaign add-on year one pass DLC content. Uh, $30 for two campaign add-ons. That's what you got, plus some knick-knack skin shit that you don't care about. Yep. I don't know if I value that at $30. Bucks. We'll, have to, we'll have to talk about that. So that's $30 right there. Uh, well, fuck it. Let's talk about it live then before we even get into it so we can put a value on that uh, Deluxe edition, because I don't value it at ninety dollars either. I think ninety is a high price for that. I'm willing to go seventy nine ninety nine. I'm willing to go ten dollars each on those DLCs, no more. Okay. Because first of all, they come out a, within a year. Chances are I won't be playing it after the first month. That's the thing. So that would you well, know. Well, right now they've got the Spider Man DLC on sale. I'm just to use for example, sure. and they're giving you that's twenty five bucks I think, and they're or twenty nine or twenty five, and they got it on for sixteen right now. Cool, cool. And here we are, only a few months. What are we? Six months or so after release. Yeah. So thirty for two campaign add-ons. I mean, again, I don't know how much you guys want to value these sounds and things. That's kind of ridiculous. Put a big price point on that. I'm willing to go twenty dollars max. I'm here. willing to go seventy nine ninety nine in the deluxe edition. So just put deluxe edition seventy nine ninety nine for the value. All right, so we got eighty dollars on the deluxe edition. Uh, Steelbook, can we see this thing, or we got to just kind of make you it up? Be, you will be able to see it. Okay, can we see it like now or what? That is a fucking badass steelbook. That is the greatest steelbook of all time. <laughs> Twenty dollars. I'm not kidding. That is a fucking awesome steelbook. Twenty dollars. Oh my god. Same that's as cool. Cyberpunk 2077. I'd even be yeah. willing to go. Would you be willing to go twenty five? $20 minimum on a steelbook that is one of the best looking steelbooks I've ever seen. I love it. Uh, kind of keeps some of that old school mixed with new school sort of vibe of Doom. I love it. It is, and it's colored and it's got that red. And how many of these steelbooks you see, a lot of them are just gray or they just got like a little, you know, marking on them here or there. Uh, that is a really standout steelbook. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, cool. All right. Replica helmet. Let's do the helmet last, because that's the big piece. Cool. All right, so what else do we got? Cassette, playable, a playable cassette tape? Plus download codes for Doom Eternal and Doom 2016 soundtracks. So you have the cassette tape. You can play it if you want. What's on the cassette tape? The soundtrack. the soundtrack, yeah, on a cassette, yeah. That but has a you get codes for, for the okay. digital soundtracks. That's also on the cassette tape. 
Okay, so you can either have your your soundtrack downloaded, yeah, or you've got to find a cassette player. Yeah, I like that. The idea of... is cool. The execution is probably terrible because <laughs> who's got a fucking cassette player? I like the fact that I haven't made a mixtape in a long time, guys. I don't think you've ever made a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: I like the fact that they're doing something different. It's unique. If, here's the thing: if they're not going to give you the physical CD, right? Which that's probably what they weren't going to do. They said, "Fuck it." We'll make some fancy ass cassette tapes and put it on the cassette tape. That's probably what they said. You got two soundtracks here. Yep. Uh, I don't hate it. I, I'm. I don't hate it because it's unique. I'm seven fifty on both soundtracks together. I'll so get I'm, fifteen. Max. I'm, I'm fifteen on All that. Right, fifteen. Because you get the you do get the backup on the cassette, and then you get the digital download for each. I'm fifteen on that. Yeah, that's max. But it's you know Doom Six two thousand sixteen. That's been out forever. Basically, two years True. in the gaming True. world is forever. So I don't know if there's a huge happy getting the soundtrack. It is download. You do have the cassette tape, which is really neat. Let's give it fifteen bucks and just and call it even. Sure. Let uh, me look at this lore book. Doom lore book custom artwork by id Software, and we can maybe scroll down and read about it. Well, Hang that on. Hold on. Is, uh, Hold on. Hold on. is fucking awesome. I want you to look away in case there's a price on the screen. Right. I don't want All you right. to see it. So quit trying to pee. I see you. I see you. Hang on now. Hold on. No peeking for J-Dog. I'm getting good at valuing these things, dude. Hmm. Yeah, they don't really give us anything specific. There there's no price on the screen, so we, you can look back at this okay. now. So it looks like we have a decent uh, art book here. Uh, or a lore book, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big hardcover high tone fantasy to do things. So. Yeah, and it doesn't say that it's hardcover, so I think we've realized that we can't assume that it's hardcover. So we can't assume that. Now, I do like the vibe of this lore book. It's kind of almost like a D&D &D monster compendium. And I do like that. Uh, which I really like. Uh, and I like the artwork inside of it. I'm going to go, and the lithograph, I'm going to go 30 bucks for both, okay? You know, I didn't think I'd get that out of you for that. Yeah, I like it. I really do. So I got 30 for the lore book and the lithograph. Yeah, the lithograph is really neat. Okay, and remember, it's, uh, what is it, 11 by yeah, 17? Yeah, it's large, it's and it's really, big. really cool. So it's 11 by 17, so it's probably like this. That's pretty mm -hmm. big. Yeah. So what do we got? I like it. And, you know, hopefully that lore book is, is pretty neat, too. It, you're probably breaking it down 20 on the lore book and 10 on the lithograph. You know, realistically. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. Okay. So this puts us, and again, this assumes an $80 price point on the deluxe edition, which, for my intents and purposes, is maximum that you're going to pay for Not that. Not a penny more. That's 100 and. 145 is where we're at here right now. No. So the real question here, guys, becomes how much do you pay for this Doom Slayer helmet, which is a very, very cool <laughs> and yeah. wearable, as we saw on the yep. uh, Bethesda yep. Yep. Showcase. live stream. So for me, it's not a $10 item, $20 item, $30, $40, $50 item. I, I, I know realistically that yeah, it's not. that's it's not how it's going for. No. I'm 75 bucks. I'm not going to give you 100 bucks for it. Uh, for me, it's just going to be a big piece of plastic, or if it is metal, which I can't see that happening. For me, it's seventy-five bucks. And we that's... saw the guy wearing it. It looked like you could wear it. My questions are: Is it comfortable? Does it hold a huge weight on your head and make you want to go like this all day? Right. Well, that's why I'd be thinking. That's why I'm thinking it's probably molded plastic. Yeah. I'm it... going. I'm going seventy-five bucks. It is super detailed. Uh, I did hate what I saw when we saw it displayed. I'm 75 on it. Realistically, though, how often are you going to wear this? One day a year. You would wear Halloween. it to cosplay to a convention. Or Halloween. Uh, you'd wear it for Halloween, which, you is know. It, it, now, is it a shaded thing? So it's like a sunglass. So if you're wearing it was the one we saw last night. Yeah. It? So, I mean. It I think, does, it I think if you cool. said 75 bucks on this, even. Remember, just from, in, just from a general standpoint, not from, a, you know, would you actually hand a guy 75 bucks for it? I, I, I do. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. It's not quite a motorcycle helmet, but it's not quite, you know, a Yeah, piece they of... don't say that it's a motorcycle helmet. They don't say, like, 
even if that'd be really neat if you could wear it on your bike. Here's the thing: even if you, <laughs> even if you, even if you were like, "Fuck it, I don't value this at all." Fifty dollars. I feel like fifty dollars is as low as you could go here. No, it is. It is. I feel like if you, I feel fifty dollars like is probably unfair. Yeah. I'm thinking because you look at some of the other pieces you get; they're not even wearable. You know, they're like they have like a a, a filled in base. You know, you can't even wear them. Yeah. This is wearable, and we did see it being worn. And it's not just like a paperweight no. either. You know. Yeah. Now, yeah. I mean, fuck. all right. So seventy. Let's just say seventy-five to a hundred bucks. No, hundred dollars is say, really max. I wouldn't. I wouldn't push two hundred for You're this. You're at two hundred and twenty to two hundred and forty-five dollars on this collector's edition, max value. Uh, or at least you what our value is coming. You in. never answered the question. How much would you value the helmet at? Because you're gonna lowball it. I, I don't know if I'm lowball it, dude. I just I don't like when they don't tell you what it's made of and if you could actually wear it on your motorcycle. Could you wear that with biking? Is that a, is that uh, wearable? Replica, replica. What does that mean? That means you probably can't wear it safely and like fall off a bike and survive. Replica means plastic. I do like it though, so all right, let's just go seventy-five. That puts us at two hundred twenty dollars for everything. For everything, you, is that two twenty for everything? That's us putting the price at eighty dollars, not ninety, on that that uh, deluxe edition. Twenty on the steel book, which is a great steel book. It's the best part of the whole damn thing. Uh, you've got uh, the cassette tape soundtracks, fifteen bucks. You've got a $30 combined price on that lore book and that uh, Ardent Power Lithograph, okay? And then we're valuing that helmet at $75. I think that's reasonable, okay? I think that is reasonable. Look at what we came up with for the price. Which is at 220 bucks. How do you feel about that? I feel you've got four really neat pieces. You do. You Wearable have. helmet, awesome lithograph, really cool looking lore book, and a badass motherfucking steel book. I mean, come on, J-Dog. It is really hard to, to shit on that steel book. I, I mean, that steel book might, be, is the best that steel book might be 25 bucks. That steel book is the best thing in the whole set. I would love to have that steel book on my shelf. It is a great steel book, and the artwork is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, again, I mean that's again valuing that at twenty bucks just for that steel book. How do you feel about two hundred fifty dollars for this collector's edition? I feel two fifty is fair. How do you feel about three hundred? That's getting up there. How do you feel about two hundred and ten? That's a buy. Two ten is a buy. Are you ready for the price reveal? I am. Show it to me. I mean, J-Dog, are you sure you're ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, my God. Are they listening to us? They must be. They're fucking listening to us. They must be. Hey, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fucking buy. I, no I thought this was going to be three fifty. dollars <laughs> oh, I would have fucking eaten them alive. I thought they were going to try to rip people off for that helmet. Yeah. Uh, maybe Bethesda is eating some humble pie. <laughs> for real. You think so? Because you saw them come out for their showcase and basically make fun of stand themselves there and the make whole fun time. of themselves. Maybe they're eating some humble pie, guys. Yeah. $199 on this is an absolute buy. Awesome steelbook. Absolute buy. Cool looking lore book. Really sweet lithograph that I'd actually display. Wearable helmet replica. I like it. Our valuation on this actually comes in at. Thirty dollars higher than the suggested price. I don't remember the last time we had a. And that was that after yeah. we cut money from the deluxe edition. So yeah. even if we were to value that deluxe edition at the ninety dollars stated, which we don't, but even if we were to, we'd still be in. We'd still be in the ballpark. This is a buy. Yep. This is a strong buy. In fact, uh, when you look at it from a value standpoint, again, when we valued this. We took the Deluxe Edition, which retails at $90, and we only put $80 price point on that. 
okay we're gonna give you ten dollars each for each of those campaigns we're not even gonna give you money for all that throwback uh, sounds and all that nonsense right so you got an eighty dollar price point that we're valuing on the deluxe edition twenty dollars on the steelbook which you saw it it's one of the best looking steelbooks we've ever seen fifteen dollars on the combined soundtracks cassette tape thing thirty dollar lore book and lithograph you might even think that's a bit high on that lore book and lithograph and you'd be okay there because you got twenty dollars built in on our valuation uh, for this uh, and then seventy five dollars on the helmet um, that price comes in at two hundred twenty dollars one ninety nine is what they're asking for this you could even drop the helmet valuation to fifty dollars and still be okay if you if you only value that helmet at fifty bucks you're still good here um, I don't know what to say I'm really surprised I thought they were gonna really try to rip people off on that helmet because of how people kind of reacted during the uh, during the uh, showcase Jadon two in a row I'm surprised guys Cyberpunk 2077 we were right on the money this one we overshot it we were actually over the price we were wow I cannot believe this We'll have to reassess our valuation metrics and make sure we haven't. We uh, might have to really, might have to really crank up the the BS. Are we whatever. giving? Are we giving too much money on the steel books? Do you think? It's that hard. is a great steel book, though. Yeah, it's hard for me to not value them when they look that good. When they have full art on both sides, that is so sometimes cool. you just get like a character or a word or yeah. two. I don't value those more than five or ten bucks. Yep. But you start getting full art like that, I'm willing to give them a price. Guys, Damn. this is a bona fide grade A buy. Yep. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm surprised. Well, I want to know what the plebs are thinking. I want them to hit us up down in the comments. First of all, give us your price breakdown on each of the different items. Let us know what you think about this Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Like the video if you enjoyed this honest, no BS breakdown and review of the Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. And we'll see each and every one of you right here next time for more honest, real YouTube content like this. Not sponsored by anyone except for our patrons and our viewers. And ladies and gentlemen, you have yourself another collector's edition that has Mr. YouTube's stamp of approval. You're welcome. GG. Yup plebs.